Hey guys, it's Alan, and I just wanted to uh, thank everybody for the birthday wishes today. Um, very touched, very touched by everyone. Um, it's been an emotional day for me today. Um, you know, I'm not feeling very well, and but um, top of that, uh, it's just the the outpour of people today who you know have wished me happy birthday, who have sent me you know. Um, you know, nice notes about um, different things. Um, it just really, really got to me. You know, I was I left work early around three o'clock to go to the gym. I wanted to get a good workout in before the uh, the five p.m. rush came through the gym. And <clears throat> you know, I'm sitting there and I'm I'm lifting weights and, and and tears are just starting to come down my face. And you know, my phone's blowing up. People. Or, you know, messaging me, telling me, you know, that, um, you know, I inspire them and not, they're the reason that they keep they keep going and, you know, that they, that they don't give up because I don't give up. And and I just started to think about, you know, all the times when I said, you know, Alan, next year you're going to do it. Next birthday you'll start. Next year um, you'll, you'll change your life. And, and it never happened. Um, it didn't happen for a long time, and you know it didn't happen until one day when I woke up and said, "I need to make a change. If I don't, then I'm gonna die." Um, I never set out to inspire anybody, and I don't consider myself an inspirational person. I just, I just wanted a better life which I think most of us want. I wanted a chance at life. I wanted, uh, you know, a chance at the future. I wanted a chance at having a wife, kids, a uh, family. Um, I wanted to be there for my mom. I wanted my mom to know that she didn't, she didn't have to worry about getting old because, because I was going to take care of her. And, I didn't get to do that for my dad. And I wasn't gonna let my mom feel like that. I knew that I had to do it for my sisters, for my nieces and nephews. I had to do it for me. I knew that if I didn't do it, I would never excel in my career. I remember being 480 pounds and sitting in the conference room with a bunch of other engineers and project managers and you know I had something to say but I didn't say it because I don't want to be seen I don't want anybody to see me in that room and I knew if I didn't get to a point where I could walk into a room and say you know what this is my project this is how we're gonna do it this is the plan if I couldn't lead a group of people to, to a common goal, then I was never going to get where I wanted to in my career. And that's when everything changed for me. You know, a lot of you email me on a daily basis, message me and tell me that, you know, I inspired you to do this and I inspired you to do that. And you know what? You guys inspire me to keep going. You guys keep me pushing because there's days when I want to give up. There's days when I'm tired and I'm sick and tired of this and there's days when I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to move. I don't want to eat right. I don't want to go to the gym. And I just want to say I'm done. But I don't because I have no choice. I can't give up. I can't give up. I'm not going to give up. I've been working on this for pretty much three years now, and you know my progress has been slow compared to most, and that's fine. I don't care, but I'm not going to give up. The last year was probably the best year I've had with my weight loss out of the three years, and um, I'm going to finish 2012 very strong, and um, I have big plans for 2013. I talked to my coach Amber this morning. Um, and I told him, you know, 2013 has got to be a big year for me. 
and he agreed and we're gonna make it big I'm gonna keep pushing and uh, keep fighting um, even when I'm tired even when I don't want to do anything uh, I'm just gonna do it because um, I don't have a choice I don't have a choice and I don't know why I'm so emotional today <laughs> I just a lot of things have just been, you know, piling up, and I was just thinking about the past and and the future, and thinking about every all of you who always support me. Um, you might not think that you make a difference in my life. You might not think you inspire me, but you do. Um, even if you know we never talk, if we just whatever, if we, if we're somehow socially connected, whether it be on you know Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, you know any of the sites. Uh, YouTube, uh, you guys all inspire me, and I thank you. I thank you for always supporting you, supporting me. Uh, I thank you for allowing me to be part of your lives, and and I, I just thank you for the unconditional support. Um, you know, huge thank to everybody from Fit Blogging, uh, everybody from Fit Influential, all my Fit Blog friends, um, everybody from Instagram. You know, you guys are an amazing community. Um, thank you to my coach, Amber the Hammer. Uh, you, Amber, you have changed my life. You have, you've been there for me, uh, every step of the way. Never letting me quit. Always believing in me. Always helping me get to the next level. And for you, I will ever be, I will forever be grateful. Uh, you have become more than just a coach to me. You have become a, a best friend. And I want you to know that I appreciate it. That's really all I had to say, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, because I'm not feeling well. I'm very tired. I'm gonna go spend, spend an hour or two with my mom because uh, today is my is my birthday, and I do want to spend some time with the woman who brought me into the world. So hope you guys have a great night, and thank you again so much. Um, you have no idea how much you mean to me. Thanks.